Since last time on Easy On Cars, I've been tearing apart my old engine, as well as getting the new one ready for install. Here you can see I installed the new timing belt, and finally put the timing cover back on. After installing all new NGK spark plugs, I installed the coil packs. I finally got around to plumbing all the vacuum lines for the intake, I blocked off that old EGR port, and then I finally began the process of installing the intake. With the intake on, it's starting to have that classic EG33 look. These are the motor mounts we're going to use. These are from a 2002 WRX EJ205. And what we're going to do is put them on the bottom of the EG33. And the mounting points are exactly the same on the bottom of the engine. And these ones will ensure that they fit in our cross member. So I'm installing the clutch here and I've got the flywheel on with the bolts loctited and torqued down. And this flywheel is actually from a 2002 WRX as well as the clutch and seems to work pretty well. I actually had this on my last EG Impreza as well so I know that this should work out fine. I think once I get into the realm of a bit more power I will probably need to upgrade but I know that this is going to be fine for the first go around so we are going to continue putting this on. Here I'm lining up the clutch with my alignment tool and then finally bolting it onto the flywheel. Alright so there we have a 2002 WRX clutch installed on the back of a Subaru EG33 which never came with a clutch before uh, from Subaru and the great thing is is it just bolts right up so got that going for us finally it's time to drop the H6 in this blank space in the front of my Impreza Fighting with the engine for the better part of an afternoon, I finally decided it was going to take a little bit more to get this engine to mate up with the transmission. I decided I had to pull off the front bumper cover, the bumper, and then remove the crank pulley from the engine. So I spent a lot of time yesterday trying to get the engine in. Uh, basically it's in there a little bit crooked and I had to take the front end of the car apart to try to squeeze it in there as well as take off the crank pulley. Um, today what I'm going to do is just pull it all back out and then I see that the transmission's a little bit sideways. So I'm going to straighten that, jack up the transmission and then try to line them up before I drop it all down. So hopefully we have some luck doing that. <laughs> I had to get pretty violent to get this thing back out. It was really wedged in there. Once I had the engine out, I could tell the transmission was getting pushed to the side by one of the axles. It turned out that I had jacked up the transmission too far and ripped the axle out of the axle boot. Lacking good options at this point, I decided to take the front wheels off, pull the axles out of the spindles, and relieve the pressure on the transmission. 
lacking motivation, I turn to Top Gear for some Subaru inspiration. With the axle pressure now relieved, I was able to bolt up the bell housing and finally drop the engine down into place. It's been a long time coming, but the EG33 is now officially in the front of the Impreza. In the back you can see both motor mounts attached to the cross member. So what's left? Next time we'll work out some wiring, top off all of our fluids, we gotta put together our coolant system, install our radiator, and then see if it fires up. In future episodes we'll work on our mega squirt ECU, as well as figure out how to fab up our twin turbo setup. As always, easy on cars.